Good morning, Amelia. Um, first off, I do apologize for doing the wrong tutorial earlier. Uh, like I said, it wasn't until I was going through my to-do checklist for the day that I realized that you were referring to uh, inserting images next to a an accordion menu rather than inside an accordion menu. So I do apologize for that. Uh, so uh, let's uh, jump right into this and get started. Uh, basically I've reverted the page back to what it was uh, before you asked for that so I can show you step by step. Now how you will put an image and a uh, accordion menu next to each other is kind of dependent upon the type of page it is. This particular page is a multi-purpose page, um, which in a way it does make it easier. Uh, however, a lot of our pages on the site with accordion menus were done just using basic pages like the Welcome to Atlanta page is a basic page. So, but we'll, we'll cover both those on how this can be accomplished and all. So let's go back to the mentoring, mentoring page. All right. Now the first thing that uh, that I, I do is uh, I would create the image block. So to do that, go to Structure, Blocks, Add Block. And we're going to call this block, because it's an image block, image-mentoring block. There it is. Um, and I do this. Uh, because it helps me keep track of the blocks and all. Uh, and now, if you don't want to do that, I understand that's fine and all, but kind of for my for my uh, sake, I, I put image dash whatever the, the name of the block is. All right, so we got that. Now this is where we're going to insert our image. So we go up to our, click on our little picture icon, browse server. And I know the image has already been uploaded, but I'm just going to upload it again. Uh, so there is that image that we used. We'll upload. We'll insert the file. Now, that's a pretty big image now. We don't want this... Yeah, we want to scale that down. So I'm going to start... Let's start with uh, 500. All right, and as long as you got your little padlock there locked and all, it'll maintain the aspect ratio regardless of which box you change the number in. It'll automatically change that number to maintain the aspect ratio. As always, anytime you upload images to the site, you do for in the alternative text box, you do want to put in a brief description of the image uh, for um, the Americans with Disabilities Act compliance, 508 compliance. So to women having a discussion. All right. We'll click OK. That looks fine. Now we really don't have to do anything else with this for this particular block. So we're going to save it as is. We'll just leave that as is. All right. So let's go back to our mentoring page. All right, now we still have this. So what we need to do uh, basically is remove this. All right, so we go into configure block. Uh, for the theme, we'll just set that for none. Save block. All right, so we not, now we have a blank page, it's fine. No worries. This is where we insert the blocks side by side for a multi-purpose page. All right, we scroll down and we'll see a section called articles. All right, so what we want to do is put the names of those blocks in there. That block that I just removed from the main content area uh, is called mentoring and it should automatically find it. And uh, uh, let's see, I believe that's it. Yeah. Add another item. Now, the other one was called, I 
and this is why it makes it well the buttons kind of blocking it but yeah image dash mentoring page all right so let's scroll down let's save that ah now we see that they're not cooperating with each other and why is that well th because this one's at full width so we go into the block set that for hat half width save the block there we go much better alright so now we publish now that's how you do that for a page that is a multi-purpose page alright now what if we come upon a page that is not a multi-purpose page but we want to do the same thing like for our Atlanta page now if we go into here we that all right this is from a previous experiment see if I could do the same thing uh, on this page but I can't by inserting the name of the blocks here it just it still just stacks them one on top of the other so what do we do now to get this page to put uh, images next to accordion blocks well let's uh, let's do this uh, first off um, oh, I'm sorry I meant to hit you current okay well first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to configure block and I wanna make sure it's set in area below main content respects sidebar regions so area below main content respects sidebar regions I wanna set the the width to half alright now let's save this alright that's good now we need to create the block of welcome to Atlanta or the something of image so add block alright and this and again it's gonna be my image block image welcome to Atlanta and just like we did with the last one we want to insert an image browse server upload browse I think a good p pick would be this one the Atlanta City Sky uh, skyline with uh, tech tower in the foreground all right so we'll insert the file into that block and I'm gonna I think the width and height is good here again we need to tag the text Atlanta skyline with tech tower in foreground uh, I think I spelled that wrong foreground I guess that's right I, I really don't know okay now this is remember when I said we want to make sure it's in uh, area below main content respect sidebar reason well let's go regions let's go ahead and set that here let's also go ahead and set the layout to half width and we want it to list on the page this is where we want to limit the page it's going on so let me just go into another browser here because I don't know offhand the URL of the page all right there we go whoops so we want to include this let me copy that paste it here save block all right let me go into another tab here so by all accounts it should be displaying right next to it now if we want to this as you see the pictures here but this is to the right of it 
how do we go about changing that? Well, we want to go in back into our blocks. Let me go ahead and refresh this here. We want to go back into our blocks and we want to go to the section that we uh, uh, inserted the picture and the um, uh, accordion menu and we have it in area below main content respect sidebar region. Uh, information about Atlanta uh, let's see what, uh, as you see the image welcome to Atlanta is on top of this so let's just drag this down to there all right let's go go ahead and save that hit refresh much better now the difference that you will see between the two, and this may be a problem, which uh, we can we can work on that. This one has a gray box around that, and that's simply because the way that this Articles One is formatted in the back end, in the CSS in the back end. This, on the other hand, does not have it. Now, we can do here on this page by simply manipulating the blocks the way I just showed you on here, and by removing them from here. Um, unfortunately, because this is a basic page, we can't do on here what we did on the mentoring page what we just did on uh, well oh man I'm terrible at this I'm so sorry it's so early we can't duplicate this on this page because it's a basic page but we can duplicate what we did on here on the mentoring page because it's a multi-purpose page that's one of the things you can do on top of uh, inserting blocks into articles. So this may be something you have to get with uh, uh, Jana on. Um, uh, I'm sorry, I just, truthfully, I just discovered this before I did this tutorial, and I was pretty nervous about setting it up and on letting you know, but because I should have did on this mentoring page what I did here, but I just took the easy path and I do apologize for that um, but just let me know um, and uh, yeah so uh, that's the tutorial I hope you have a great day